ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the third thumb you can control with your brain. But first, hello, bonjour, hola, guten tag. That's about my limit when it comes to translating foreign languages. But Facebook owner Meta has just announced its latest AI can translate 204 different languages at a higher quality than previously achieved. That's twice as many as has ever been attempted. And Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has called the AI translation a superpower. It's all done using machine learning and the language data and algorithms used will be made publicly available. A group of campaigners say the online safety bill currently going through Parliament is on the verge of being unworkable. There are major gaps in this bill that are not good for British society. That's Poppy Wood from Reset, a tech and democracy campaign group, which is among the 16 organisations who say the bill is currently focused on the wrong areas of regulation. Poppy told us one of their issues with the bill is how it regulates and defines media outlets who are exempt from some of the rules in the bill. The broad definition means that a blog post created by poppyandjohn.co.uk would also qualify for the exemption. And as we know, the media and the online media is a very key pillar in disinformation and hate campaigns. She said it's the bad actors posting disinformation and harmful content that she's worried about. If hateanddisinformationtoday.com posts a piece of content, what the bill is now saying is if Facebook or Twitter think that content is harmful, and by the way, even illegal, platforms can't even dial it down, let alone take it down. Yesterday, the government announced a new amendment to the bill, which means social media platforms will have to proactively look for and remove disinformation from foreign state actors, which harms the UK. As the Royal Society's Summer Science Exhibition continues this week, we've been hearing from some of the experts there showing off their work. It's worn on the kind of on your palm, just below uh, your pinky, pinky finger, and it's got two degrees of freedom and it expands the kind of functionality of the hand. Um, and we're, it's current, we're currently using it as a model to better understand augmentation in the brain. That's Danny Clode, the designer of a third thumb you can attach to your hand and control with your brain. She gave us an example of how it boosts the functionality of your hand. So you can hold something like a bottle with a thumb and then you can then twist the, the cap off. I've actually also spoken with a surgeon who's really interested in you know, holding multiple tools while he's doing shoulder surgery. Uh, so we're really kind of looking into lots of options. Lucy Dowdall, a PhD student at Cambridge Uni's Cognition and Brains Unit, has been working with Danny on testing the third thumb. She said they're keen to find out how the brain copes with an extra body part. Augmentation technology is the future, but to best design it for the body, we need to understand how the brain is able to cope with an extra body part. Is it able to adapt? And then on top of that, is it safe? Apple is ramping up its security. It's bringing a new lockdown mode to its iPhone, iPad and Mac devices that allows users to drastically limit some features to protect their device from infection. It's in response to a piece of spyware called Pegasus, which can infiltrate a target's phone and sweep up its contents, including messages, contacts and location history. The new mode works by blocking text message attachments, incoming invitations, service requests and FaceTime calls, as well as some websites. The tech giant has called it a groundbreaking capability that shows the firm's commitment to protecting users from sophisticated attacks. Now, we all know what can follow even just a short period of hunger, frustration, anger, and sometimes even rage. Well, it turns out being hangry is literally a thing. A small study by Anglia Ruskin University found that an empty stomach is strongly linked to feeling angry and irritable. They studied a group of people who recorded their feelings and hunger levels five times a day through an app. The researchers said they did find that simply recognising that we feel angry because we are hungry can reduce the chances of feeling any worse. Let's go to the ads now. Stay there for good news on BlizzCon and the turtle making his way around on wheels. Why not hit follow and give us a rating in the meantime?
Welcome back. Blizzard, the game developer behind the likes of World of Warcraft and Diablo, is bringing BlizzCon back as an in-person event next year. Boss Mike Ibarra said they want to return to a live event that helps them celebrate the community. The last one was back in 2019, and subsequent events were either cancelled or made online only because of COVID-19. But there's still no news on when or where next year's event will take place. And finally, an extremely rare plowshare tortoise called Hope has been given a new home at Chester Zoo. The tortoise, though, is not only rare, but was found with just three legs. When he came to us, he had three legs and three wheels or three rollers, and they were fitted to his lower shell. Our science team worked their way through all the footage. We can see how strong he is. That zookeeper AJ from the conservation in Chester. With only three little legs, experts in Hong Kong fitted him with special mobility support to help him get around. Chester Zoo have made further modifications, though, to help him get around his new surroundings. Two of those mobility supports were removed, and so he's just got the one now. We tested him out after his quarantine period on that kind of gravelly substrate. There's leaf litter around there. Oh, he's speedy, yeah. Chester Zoo now plan to enrol Hope in a European conservation program. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader Podcast, where we bring you the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. Catch you then.